Today's focus is on balance and mobility. Now we're gonna be working on balance today. And I want you to do these little wrist taps. You're bringing that knee up to about 90 degrees and slight rotation so we can engage that core. Now this is all about balance, slow and controlled. Do each of these exercises for 20 seconds and three, two, one. Now we're going to raise this leg up, hold it there and pulse. Now this is tough, 20 total seconds. Do what you can. Use a chair for support if you need it, but we're just pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. Again, 20 seconds. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and set that down. Other leg comes up. Again, pulsing. Use a chair for support if you need it. But again, the main thing, even if you're balanced, if you go off, just pick right back up. This is all about improvement. And let's pulse here for three, two, one. Now alternate these legs and I want you to actually bring your arms out right in front for 20 seconds each. And this is all focused on balance and core strength. So again, alternate those legs. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Now right from here, we're just going to raise the leg up and slight twist. I want you to keep your hands in here and watch your arms, watch your fingertips as you rotate. So again, like I said, balance and core training, working those abs in your leg should go right in between those fingers. And we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job with that. And now we're just going to tap in front. We're gonna throw in a arm motion. This takes coordination. This is not easy. Tap and almost like you're doing a swimming motion here. Like I said, balance, core training. You're gonna do all of these exercises for 20 seconds each. Now I just want you lightly swaying from side to side here as we do this balance routine. Now if you do this, your balance will improve. Again, slow and controlled is the name of the game when it comes to balance. For 20 total seconds, we're gonna go three, two, one, excellent job. Now I want you to tap in front. So toe taps, again, control your forward motion. Control the backwards motion. Always in control. And again, we're just tapping, tap, tap. And again, you will do this for 20 total seconds. Let's go three, two, one, excellent job. Now arms are up the ultimate balance improver. We're doing a standing bicycle crunch. Again, notice how in control I am with this motion. That's the key to improving your balance. And if you can only lift your foot up this high, that's okay, start there. And let's go five, four, three, two, one. And I want you to do this motion in all of the exercises I show you today for 20 total seconds. Now when it comes to balance, we are working the largest muscles of our body, meaning we will burn the most amount of calories. Let's do this one for three, two, one. Now I just want you to tap your feet, rotate those hips. And when it comes to balance work, it's all about control, control all of the motions that you do. The tap, control it down and back up. And we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I want you to bring your knee up high. Slight pause in that upward position. Bring it up as high as you can comfortably. But don't forget to pause at the top. Don't just bring it up. You gotta bring it up in control and down. Balance is all about control. And we'll go three, two, 
One, we're simply doing these seated jumping jacks. Now I want you to do this for 20 total seconds. And again, you're just moving those arms, sitting up nice and straight and bringing those feet out and in. This is targeting these muscles right here. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Now we're just stepping out and in. This is exercise number two. And again, we're doing this for 20 total seconds, 20 seconds a piece. Three, two, one. And exercise number three, we are hopping those feet, getting blood flowing, getting things loosened up. We're working on these side muscles here. We're working on the quads, everything that helps to support your hips. And we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Placing a little bit on mobility. So I want you to grab this leg right here and you're going to lift it up. Just sitting there. You can lean back in your chair if you have to. We're gonna hold this stretch here for 20 total seconds. And when you're up here just like this, again, try to really pull your leg into your chest as high as you can and hold for three, two, one. And let's switch other leg again. This is all about mobility. Bringing this up, holding for 20 seconds. It's gonna be in your best interest to continue beyond just 20 seconds a piece. But holding here for three, two, one. And now we're going to open up those hips. We're gonna tap and just let your arms sway from side to side. And again, this is all about hip strength, hip mobility. Just getting that range of motion, keeping that range of motion. 20 seconds total. With this one, we'll go three, two, one. Again, excellent job with that. We're gonna bring that leg up, bring it out, back, down. Same leg, up, out, back, and down. 20 total seconds with this. Again, up, out, back, and down. You can hold on to your chair if you need to. The most important thing is doing this in control, working those hip muscles. And we'll go five, four, three, two, one, and other leg. Again, up, out, back and down, same thing, opposite side. Up, out, back and down again, doing this for 20 seconds Time to get a full, nice little short workout. And three, two, one, and now we're hopping those feet. We're gonna do this for five seconds here. And now bring your feet out, hop those feet out. Five seconds here. Now bring those feet in, hop those feet in and bring them out, five, four, three, two, one. Now, stretch number one, we're just going to pull this arm across the body. We're going to hold it for 20 total seconds. You will hold every stretch that we do throughout this challenge for 20 seconds. It's for your best interest to stretch, 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 and hold for three, two, one, let's switch to the other side. Again, pull it across the body. Try to sit up nice and tall. This is great for shoulder mobility. So we'll be stretching upper body stuff and lower body stuff throughout this challenge. And hold, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Now with this, I just want you to lean forward and lean back. Just simply lean forward and lean back. This is for hip mobility, helps with the hip flexors. It's also gonna work your core a little bit. And again, 20 total seconds with this. You don't have to do anything too crazy when it comes to stretching. You just gotta stretch to keep your mobility. Stretching is about mobility. And if you wanna keep your mobility, you gotta practice. And we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Bring this leg out and just reach down. You do not have to touch your toe. If you are able to touch your toe, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just feel that nice pull right behind here and hold. 20 total seconds per stretch that we do today. And three, two, one. Switch, other foot comes forward. Reach down and hold. Again, feel the stretch behind your leg. Try to keep your back up nice and straight, shoulders kind of back, instead of just reaching and falling forward and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And now let's just crisscross those arms. Again, all about mobility, 
range of motion when it comes to stretching. Again, not all stretches have to be static. So we're doing some range of motion mobility work here too. Again, one arm on top, and then the other 20 seconds in total. And we'll go three, two, one, and excellent job with that. Can't wait to see you next time. And as always, remember to keep it moving.